Hello everybody and welcome back. We are live again. <clears throat> Sincere apologies, that's all I can say. Uh, we had a bit of a bit of an outage. The sim crashed. Everything died. So yes. We are in the air again now. Just had to do a cheeky cheeky wee setup there. So we are now back on course. We are heading towards a uh, destination now, so we should be arriving hopefully sometime in the next uh, little bit. Hang on. Headset was on the wrong way around and it was causing weirdness in my brain. So, we are just ascending through 40,000 feet. Let's, let's not look at that. Uh, so we are just a little bit out now. So there's uh, uh, Lukar, so that's the, I think that's the last, uh, sorry Luxar. Uh, that's the last uh, waypoint before the arrival. So let's get the arrival set up, shall we? So let's get it all keyed in. So, we're going to come back over here, turn the tablet on, do all that fun stuff. And uh, we're going to import the data from, from Simbroof again. Again, just sorry about that. Not quite sure what happened there. Uh, so runway 274 arrival. Uh, winds are 305. So yeah, that is still accurate. Uh, we are also going to set this to managed airspeed. And we are going to enter the arrival information. ILS 27. And... Looks like 2 Delta. Alright, no wires. We're just going to make it nice and easy. Okay, we're going to insert that in. And we're going to enter the actual destination data itself. So, winds are, was it 305? Yeah, 305, 1019 and 16. 1019 goes in the QH, 16 degrees, and 300 at 5 knots. There we are, let me just change this back to live chat. Happy days, that is the destination information set, all set. As you may have noticed, we have begun our initial descent down to our destination. Now would be a good time to wrap up any business you need to take care of as we prepare for our approach. If you are up, once you return to your seat, we ask that you remain seated until your aircraft arrives safely at the gate. Okay. <laughs> Not quite, but hey ho, we'll get there, I guess. Uh, right, so we're at 39,000 feet, uh, which is A OK. -okay. We're going to get this up here because I feel like. Um, this has done me dirty, and I don't think the uh, vertical s is going to work, so we're going to get that from the sim. Angle 3 degrees. Cool. So it wants us to start sending 122 nautical miles away. We are still quite a bit away. We're 295 nautical miles. So we are due to arrive... Why is it saying 1845? That is now... Okay, maybe if we uh, hurry it up a little bit, direct to Gigal. I know that's exactly where we're going, but 1845 still. Oh, hang on. No, no, real time is on. Okay, so it's just a little bit broken, but hey, the mile miles works, uh, t so that's fine. So we need. All right, let's head down into plan mode, and we're gonna have a look at the approach. Nice and easy. Nice and simple. That's what I like to see. Uh, right. Just going to get rid of the continuity here. That's going to link up awfully. My. Hey ho. Okay, that's. Uh... Oh. Okay, just my end. Happy days. Okay, so yeah, we're just back to uh, enjoying the sights. So we've got about 100 nautical miles left until, well, 150 nautical miles until we start our descent. Uh, so happy, happy days. We are going to set manual speed back to what we were at before. 2.8. And let's see how the flight's getting on in real life, shall we?
Right, so in reality, uh, Joya is overhead uh, Leipzig. We are slightly further ahead of him. <laughs> Just slightly. So at the moment, we are... Can't connect to simulator. Great. There we go. Simlink is running now. Does that mean Volanta will work as well? Okay, Volanta's a bit broken. Hey ho, right. Let's have a look. Navigraph, where are we? So we're crossed over now, so we are... Uh, if we look at a real map... So we're over there... Um, I don't know how to pronounce any of these place names. <laughs> we're north of uh, Czechia, um, <coughs> east of uh, Germany. So we're sort of in between Dresden and... Uh, Crestow, 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 <clears throat> lots of, I can pronounce Warsaw and Krakow, probably not, and Gdansk, <clears throat> but probably nothing else. So let's turn to the right anyway. Oops. The joys with uh, spawning in on a runway, you get uh, all sorts of fun configurations. <laughs> ah, cockpit door's locked. Unlock that. Get the dome light on in the cockpit because we can. So we're still a little bit away from top of drop. Uh, I wonder if I put this back in again. Oh no, it's going to want, um, this is what it wants, isn't it? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now it will give me my topper drop. There we go. Happy days. Don't know how much fuel we've got, actually. 9.5 tonnes, that's what we're left with. Are you sure about that? It is sure. There we are. Just reach our cruising altitude toward the flight. As you get to in, I do want to remind you to please just keep your feet and elbows clear from the aisle as the flight attendants will be coming through the cabin with galley cards shortly. Also, one more reminder to please refrain from congregating to the front galley with the flight deck doors located. Thank you. I swear he just told everybody we were descending. Volanta is back and working now, lovely. So we're at 92 subscribers now. Very, very exciting. Eight away from the big triple digits.
Here comes the moon. Back in just two seconds.
Happy days. So top of descent is coming up rather quickly. Well, not really actually. Still 80, 60 knots miles away. Happy days. Lovely night time now. Oh, wow. Beautifulness, that's what that is. So top of drop is top drop will be oh there we are times have updated there so in five minutes lovely stuff the cue ball yes I'm playing a uh, thingy on my phone 8 ball hmm. it's my turn oh, I screwed it Hello, how's it going? 
don't know why I said that then. Kind of forgot I was streaming for 0.3 of a second there. It's a bit delayed with uh, chat today. Apologies, guys. Internet's not the fastest today. Here comes top of descent. So we're going to set down 3,000 feet now. So we're due to arrive in at uh, 8.30. What time were we due to arrive in before? It's about 10 past 8, I think, wasn't it? Oopsie daisies. I just potted the eight ball. Never mind, I give up on my life. Right, so the first descent is going to be. Da -da -da -da. Nah, it's going to work it out for us because it's lovely. We're going to uh, engage manage mode once it hits past uh, 7.5. Right, manage mode. Here we go. Just want to double check we've not got any ATC because if we do, we're not online, so we should get online for that. Right, uh, whereby we do not have any ATC. Oh, well. oh, do we? No, we don't. We don't. Sorry. From the flight deck, ladies and gentlemen, as you may have noticed, we have begun our initial descent down to our destination. Now would be a good time to wrap up any business you need to take care of as we prepare for our approach. If you are up, once you return to your seat, we ask that you remain seated until the aircraft arrives safely at the gate. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for a ride. Wee. Happy days. So coming through two seven, sorry three, three zero. Don't know where I got two seven from. Oh, that is lovely.
<clears throat> Absolutely wonderful this approach. Coming in at night time, we don't often fly at night. So we've got 93 nautical miles to run. <clears throat> XP72, hello man, how's it going? How is it going? I am here. I think the stream's a bit lag though. Stream is lagged. Dude, how's it going man? Was not expecting uh, expecting to see you come in today. We are uh, slightly behind uh, Joya's flight. Uh, he is... Uh, he was slightly delayed in taking off. Um, but nonetheless, we are here now. And uh, and we had a, a sim freeze halfway through the flight as well, so that's always great. So, trying not to touch the uh, sim too much uh, for fear of uh, breaking it. Um, but yeah, dude, how's it going? I've just seen the uh, live subscribers got there. Somebody has subscribed. But it won't tell me who. That is us. Another one closer. So we've got seven to go to hit the big hundred now. Honestly can't wait it's gonna be great to be able to change a bexo finally in the url that's just such a great little achievement one tenth of the way we need to be to uh get to uh get to a thousand So there we are, we've finally caught up with uh, our descent marker now, so descending to 10,000 feet initially by Romeo Zulu 729. I do have the chart up here, um, so do I? No I don't apparently. So we are Papa, uh, sorry, Echo Papa RZ Romeo Zulu. And apparently it's got no charts. Wow. Oh, no, there they are. They just decided to load in a little bit later. 
So taxi, we want standard arrival star. So approach runway 27. And Zulu 27, right, and then we want, I think it's this one, isn't it? Not entirely sure. Okay, we have lost the descent marker just a little bit, so we're gonna put some speed brakes out. Wow, that is, uh, that is quite dark. We're gonna get the dome light off now, so our eyes can adjust to the darkness. Oh, damn. through 18,000 feet now. Electro man, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I hope you are enjoying your evening. We are currently l coming into land, so you've come in at a great time. Uh, we're coming into Poland now. Let me go and get the pronunciation for this place again. Do you say it in Polish? It is said as Jesu. Jesu. City names and names of famous places and countries. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel. How do you say it? In Polish, it is said as Jeshro. Jeshro. <coughs> Jeshro. We're coming into Jeshro. That's in Poland. Southern part, to be precise. So there's the runway just there. So we're going to come around and come to the left. Come round to the left, so left hand. Oh. Back down to 72 subscribers now, apparently, according to YouTube. How sad. <laughs> Kill the speed brakes. Uh, we're approaching 10,000 feet. Not yet. So there is the airfield. Lovely stuff. So yeah, Jeshro. This is Jeshro. Or how it's pronounced. According to one YouTube video, it's pronounced Jeshro. We've got all the lights coming on now. So we are coming up to 10,000 feet. Lovely stuff. Yeah, I don't know why my, um, why my announcements are broken. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, that's for sure. Let me try doing that. Happy days. So, what the aircraft? Let's sit down, relax, and sound talking to you. Are you ready for this? There's no day in. It's like, uh... Thank you very much for the subscription there, Juliet. So, I'm not sure what the total is at the moment, because we were up at 73, now we're down at 72. Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. So I want uh, 14.5 to 15.5. 
So, right, that's us at 8,000 feet now. The airfield is literally just off... Uh, where's the airport? There it is. That's it there. Also, let's uh, let's engage manage speed mode. Whoopsies! Shouldn't be going quite this fast underneath 10,000 feet. So we're gonna hit the speed brakes out just so that we can uh, rectify that problem. We're gonna get ILS mode on both left and right. Yep, I know I know I've ex exceeded the speed limit. It's fine. We're gonna get standard pressure set to local pressure, which is 1019. And we are going to activate the approach phase in just a minute. The new guy, how's it going, man? I'm going to get a localizer turned on as well. Uh, we've got all the lights on that we require, APUs off, seatbelt signs are on, ding the cabin, let them know that we are close, and everything else is basically as it should be, apart from the, the floodlights aren't on, which I'm very sad about, because I do enjoy my floodlights. But here we are, though. Yo, man. I'm going to get a localizer... You got the PMDG. Nice, dude. Nice. Worth it. Yeah, dude. Definitely. Uh, so we are gonna. Uh, we're back. Are we live again? We're live again. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. No idea why this keeps happening to me today. Um. Yep. So there comes flaps one. We've got flaps one out. We're gonna get flaps two soon as we can, which is now. Lovely stuff. We're gonna get the uh, speed brakes away. Got localizer on star, we're gonna get the approach mode on. Cat 3 single, happy days. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's potato Wi-Fi, that's why. It's got nothing to do with servers. It's just potato Wi-Fi, that's it. <clears throat> this should all be illuminated right now. A little bit like it is here, but everywhere. It's not. You're going to do Isle of Man to London Heathrow Ryanair flight. No, dude. Ryanair don't fly into Heathrow, man. Ryanair don't fly to Heathrow. Ryanair definitely don't fly to Heathrow. <laughs> no, they don't, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of where they do fly to in your area. Catwick, then. Yeah, the, at least it's not Heathrow with Ryanair. That's fine. Also, if you're going to do Gatwick, uh, 2,500. Let's get the gear down on flaps three. Um, if you're going to do Gatwick, I'd check out the scenery uh, that's on flightsim.to. Definitely worth it. So we've got a bit of a crosswind. Uh, we're looking at 12 knots, and we're going to get full flaps. There we go. Here comes the autothrottle coming back. 
no matter what gate you're at, you can still get full ground service. Yep. It's brilliant, isn't it? Right, everything's ready to go. Flaps are full. We're going to arm the ground spoilers now. We're not going to need them again. Uh, we're going to check the cabin. Cabin all sat down and ready to rumble. Lovely wing view. Not that you can see anything. We are still a few miles out. Four miles to go. Four miles to burn. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to play with at all. Um, this one. There we are. See, quite a 13 knots across the nose, basically straight over. Yeah, so he is flying in real life. He's flying in real life out here, so... Uh, um, he's a little bit behind, I think, because he got delayed. But then again, I had a uh, sim crash. So, look at it whichever way you want to. He is coming through... 27,000 feet at the moment. 1,000. 1,000 feet, checked. Um, so he's coming through 27,000 at the moment. Yeah, Ryanair's got a big base in Stansted, I think. No, yeah, Ryanair is Stansted, EasyJet to Luton. Yeah, I remember now. Big brain stuff, you know. So yeah, so we've flown Stansted to, um, well this is, uh, oh god, I can't pronounce it, forgotten again. Zeshov. Zeshov. Zeshov, yep. Definitely got that right. 500. 500 feet checked. You get a BBJ version, uh, yep. Lovely. 400. 300 my aircraft. 300. My aircraft, I have control. 200. Retard. Five. Touchdown. Manual braking. I said manual braking. Why are we not going anywhere? Okay, that was weird. All right. So damn cool from views like how the plane flies over you. Yep, um, that's something else that died a little bit earlier on, so unfortunately we don't have any replays today. Um, that died when the rest of the sim died as well. Um, now I've got to try and find the taxiway. I don't know, I think I might have to go all the way down and backtrack. I'm just opening up the taxi charts for the airfield. No, no, apparently there is a vacate right at the end. Just got a really long taxi all the way back down now. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, that's fine. So why, why is it giving us turnarounds? Alright, we're going to get flaps coming up now. Going to get the landing lights coming off. Uh, you guys can stay on. We get the APU on. Strobes can go to auto, and everything else can stay on for now. Get the bleed coming on when it's time.
we are turning around here. Whoa, there's no taxiway here. What? What? Why is there no taxiway here? There is one. Oh, the scenery's let me down, boys. The scenery has let me down. Oh, you're gonna send PMDG pics, are you? In my DMs. Sliding into my DMs be like. I don't know why I had a funny feeling that there wasn't gonna be anything there. Oh, that's annoyed me now. <laughs> Alright, happy days. Let's just uh, backtrack down the runway then. At least we can taxi a bit faster because we're on the runway. <laughs> Logic. Logica. Just need to keep an eye out for where this taxiway actually is. I saw it when we were coming into land, but um, yeah. about here somewhere I think not sure because the terminals there okay it must be the next one yeah it is it's only got one out of one two three four god that's bad Poland's being discriminated against in Microsoft Flight Sim Right, so that's us taxiing to the airfield now. Airfield? Uh, okay, now it's... Okay, that's just an edge marker. Okay, I see. I see. I see. And here is the terminal building. Oh, so kindly uh, rendered in by Microsoft. I'm going to be taxiing myself, thank you very much. I'm giving up on taxiways and all that fun stuff. Because, wow, this scenery is awful here. That awful doesn't even start to cut it. Right, parking brake set. Engine 2, engine 1 off, because we know the APU is on and running. We'll get the beacon light coming off, strobe lights can come off, and happy days. Wonderful. Right, we'll get the dome light on so we can see what we're doing. The doors are verified. We're going to come over here. We're going to get the all the lights off that we don't need anymore, so runway turn offs, taxis. You can go into the fully off position. Nav lights, you can stay on for a short minute. Uh, seatbelt signs can come off. Wheel trucks and safety cones, we're going to get the external power. So that we can get some external power up in here. No. Okay, apparently not. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be shutting this off. Oh. Nope. <laughs> oh dear. Right, well, we're going to be turning off the plane the easy way. Ladies and gentlemen, please jump out of the aircraft. We're going home and we're going to bed. Thank you very much. Battery 2, battery 1 off. And in about 3 seconds, everything's going to go off. Well, I say 3 seconds. Uh, if we open up the APU page, uh, you can see that there's no pressure coming through the bleed. Um basically yeah because we've got no got no replays because they died because uh, everything else turned off halfway through the uh, halfway through the flight so everything died um, I can I only got Volanta to start working again about 15 minutes ago um, which is a shame because uh, disrupts the flow of the stream a little bit but uh, this is this is why this is part two uh, but landing wasn't too bad it was uh, rather interesting um, to say the least, but what we'll do is we'll jump outside, properly outside. Uh, have a look at the aircraft here. 
There it is in all its lovely. This is the airfield here. It was a pretty standard landing. Um, yeah, no, this is the surrounding area. It's lovely. With spawning cars. <laughs> but yeah, no, the... Uh, wasn't too bad of a flight at all. Could be worse. And if we go back inside the cockpit, I'm surprised it's not turned off yet. Huh. It's just cooling down still, so uh yeah, it's been a bit of a bit of an odd stream today. Kinda got broken in the middle, but um nonetheless we are here, we're alive, and uh Sorry, it's been good fun. Jump. Oh. If we Huh. I really, really thought the uh APU would have uh turned off by now. There we go. <laughs> oh well. But you yeah, know that's the flight. Um It's good fun. But yeah, no, thanks very much for uh coming to watch. Uh noob guy. And uh, we had uh, XP74, sorry, 72 Electro. Thank you all very much for coming in. It has been great fun crashing, <laughs> crashing the sim halfway through and uh, flying from Stansted. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next live um, or video. Catch you soon. Cheers now. Bye bye.